So back in Dynamo, we set up this series of nodes to isolate the domains along our surface. So let's divide these curves, these isolines, into a series of perpendicular planes. Um, first, we'll go over to the search bar and look for plane at parameter. And we want to do that with a curve here. And remember, we want the curve, our isoline, to plug into the input for curve. And we'll also pull up a code block. So dropping that onto the canvas, we can do 0, dot, dot, 1, dot, dot. Let's go with hashtag divisions, u, semicolon, and then 0, dot, dot, 1, dot, dot, hashtag divisions, v, semicolon. So we now have two lines of code block, and we're going to pull up an integer slider, dropping that onto the canvas. This will be our divisions u, and we'll copy and paste that slider and move it down for our divisions v. Let's make the u divisions 10 and the v divisions 40. So we'll plug our v slider into our input and our u into divisions u. So now we have our parameter output here, and we'll plug that into our plane at parameter. Uh, now we have 10 planes along this curve. If I copy and paste this plane at parameter, I'm going to change our parameter input to divisions v and change our curve input to our long curve. So now I have 40 divisions along the longer edge of the surface. So with this said, let's intersect our planes with our original length surface. And we're going to do this with the intersect all command. So we'll drop that onto the canvas. Our geometry is our planes. I'm going to scroll all the way over to the original joined polysurfaces. And we'll plug our entity, we'll plug this into our entity. So copying this, we can see we have our, our section lines representing these plane intersections. We're going to copy and paste this node. And let's turn off the preview on the polysurface. And let's also turn off the preview on the element faces. So now we're just looking at the planes and the section lines. Let's see what our output is for these intersections. So we have four curves in most cases. Uh, there are a few cases. Here we have an empty list, empty list at item 9 and a surface for item 0, which is a little odd. And let's hit Control g and zoom in and see if we can understand why this is. And it looks like the problem in this case is that we are referencing a solid, and our bounding box is linked to the, the exact dimension of the solid. Uh, we're actually slicing through one of the faces of the solid, which creates a surface at that intersection. On the other hand, our last plane may not actually be cutting through our geometry, which would be giving us our null value. So with that in mind, let's zoom out, put that in the top right, and hit Control g And this might interfere with some of the operations we do down the road, since we have a surface and an empty list. So in order to fix this, I'm going to first minimize that list. All the way back in our code block, if we change this domain to be just above the beginning of the surface, uh, we can avoid the issue where the plane intersects to become a surface. And if we go just below the end of the domain at 1, we should be able to cut through our geometry and continue to have a closed curve. So a bit of a hack here, but let's just change the 0 to 0 0.01, and let's change the 1 to 0.99. So not the best practice, but it's a quick fix for uh, this type of issue. So here we have a new section here, and we have a series of nice clean uh, four curves at each item on the list. So last part of the series, let's copy and paste this intersect all 
and just plug in our other set of planes into the geometry. So we now have a series of vertical sections and a series of horizontal sections. And here we have more intersections here.